Hello, hello, Chris Bakke with Games Previewed here with a quick look at Circuit Breakers, a family-friendly take that game. Let's take a look at the gameplay. Okay, so this is Circuit Breakers, and there's a fair bit going on here, as you can see. Basically, this is one player here to the left, this is another player here to the right, and this is another player along the top row here. Basically, when you start the game, you're going to deal out two of these wire cards to each player. You're going to deal out three appliance cards like this to each player. You'll put the rest of them right here. Then you'll uh, put the cards in the middle here, the same number of cards for each one, two wire and three appliances. You'll then place the cheese tile up here along with the cheese cubes on top of that. Next you'll look at the round counter here, place the blue round counter cube in the upper left corner, and then you'll take your choice of mouse and you have a circuit breaker box like this, and then put the set in front of you. This is where you start your, uh, your circuit breaking from, basically. Finally, you get a reference card like this, and this shows you some of the points that the uh, scored at the end of the game. And then this is also secret information. This is a list of the appliances in the game that will score you more points if you get them in your collection. In the interest of space and in terms of focusing on uh, what each person is going to do on their turn, I've decided to shrink this down a little bit to size. This is now the common area that I showed that was in the middle of the table. This is a single person over here. So I've got their breaker box, I've got their secret reference card, I've got their wire cards, and I've got their appliance cards right here. So the rules actually let you decide who goes first. This can be because one of you is an electrician, the last person to eat cheese, etc. On your turn, there are three actions you can do in any order. You can move your mouse and collect a card. You can place up to two tiles from your hand out into your network, or you can discard slash collect cheese. Uh, let's go over that one by one. So the move mouse slash collect card action basically i'm going to take my mouse tile here and i'm going to place this like i would a worker in a worker placement game i'm going to place this on the tile i want to steal or add to my collection so i might put it on the boom box here and on the next turn i will return this tile carrying it back to my own area i can also place up to two tiles from my hand into uh, my circuit breaker area. You might think of this circuit breaker uh, tile like that central tile in Carcassonne, and I wanted to point out that it has a U right here. This U means anything can link to it. So some of these tiles have a three sort of wire connection, some of them have a two wire connection, and this one has just the one coming in. So this U can connect like such to any of these sides. Finally, I can discard slash collect keys. Basically what I'm doing there is I'm taking a card from my hand, I'm discarding it face up into one of these piles here, and then I'm taking one keys like this. So I might take my television here and cover up the boom box here and then take one cheese. And this is also a good strategic move if I know, for example, that one of my opponents really wants that boom box. So think of the mouse as something that's used to retrieve stuff for you, while the cheese is used to defend yourself from other players' mice. When you move your mice somewhere, you'll take that tile at the beginning of your next turn. Uh, if an opponent wants to block you, they'll cheese the mouse to make that mouse go away, basically. And yes, folks, that's right. Cheese the mouse is a totally legitimate thing here in the game, let me say. To cheese the mouse, you take them from wherever they were to the top of the appliance stack, and then you discard your cheese back into the pile. How long does this game go on? I'm glad you asked. So this is the round counter in the game, and for two players, you play four uh, rounds of four turns each. For three or four players, you'll play three rounds or four rounds of three turns each. You'll start the cube here and then you move like that and then you'll start the next round. 
This symbol here basically means you deal one new wire tile to each player before the start of the turn. This symbol down here with the, the zap means you, you draw a new appliance tile. So the goal here is to score the most points by connecting the appliances to your breaker box. And obviously you're using the wires to connect these different things. So I've got my breaker box here and I've got the pizza oven here. I've got an espresso machine here. I've got a gumball machine here and I've got a party lights here. Now obviously you need to make sure to connect the red dots to the red dots, the three to the three, the two to the two and so on. And then at the end of the game, your secret objective card is going to show, again, the ones that you want to connect that are going to score you more points. So I will score more points for the gumball machine, the jukebox, the party lights, and the puppet show. And those points are actually on the reference card as well. So if they're on my card, I'll score more points. If they're not on the card, I'll still score points, but not as many. And uh, one more thing to note here is that you want to try to connect more of the same appliance type you can if you possibly can. Okay, so that was Circuit Breakers. Um, it does, uh, at first I thought it would be a little bit like Carcassonne and just another tile laying sort of game, but there's more to it than that. You've got the notion that you're trying to match these different one, two, or three wire symbols. You're trying to set them up so that the appliances can be put into your grid and everyone's working on their own grid, so you can't directly mess with them that way. But you can put stuff, uh, you can put your mice on the appliances to uh, collect them and possibly mess with people that way. You're also discarding cards on top of other cards, so maybe you can mess with someone that way as well. So it's not just multiplayer solitaire. The mice and keys add a little bit of quirkiness to a theme that's all about, you know, making circuits and trying to wire things up. Uh, you could probably have used any number of other animals or foods or whatever, but mice like to nibble on wires and the cheese lures them away, I guess. It's an interesting little quirky thing to a theme uh, to add it to make it something different. So as strategy goes, you definitely want to be putting more appliances as you can into the game but the number of wires you have available and the number of connections you have available makes that really difficult. So you really want to be trying to manage uh, the number of wires and the types of appliances you're putting into place. Also trying to keep in mind that uh, your grid is public information, right? People don't know which ones you have on your secret card, but if I can see you've already put two jukeboxes in your thing, I might guess that that's going to be important to you. So I might try to block you there. Uh, yeah, it's a fun family game, pretty easy to, to pick up and understand. It's one of those games where it might take you a few turns to get into the flow of things, but you can take those three actions in any order that suits your strategy. This has been Chris Bakke from Games Preview. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button down there if you want to get more of me and more games in your life. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.